We're talking about the lure of uh, Real Madrid. I said lure in uh, the vocabulary of Simon Jordan, but it's true. They have this incredible, unique lure, this European pedigree and status. Are they still the club that everybody wants to go to? Uh, last night, they, they, they got through at Chelsea's expense, but we're putting it out there. Are they the one? Are they the pinnacle for the top players today? Trevor is saying, well, hang on a second. People at Haaland will undoubtedly mm. want to go to Manchester City. To coin an analogy, I'll tell you what they are. In this is using F1 analogy. Here we go, Michael Massey. Real Madrid are Ferrari and Man City are Red Bull. No, nah, that's completely Absolutely. Opposite. People want to drive Ferrari. Even when Ferrari weren't going very well, drivers wanted to drive for them. Now that they're going well, they want to drive for them all the more. These are the, this is an analogy which is appropriate. But the Red game, Bull, Red the Bull game, are money coming in, trying to, trying to establish a different position, but they are not I in that, that place. Simon, but the game evolves. Manchester United used to be the gold class. Does everyone want to go Manchester United now? Come uh, on, get, get up with the times. Tragically, they do. <laughs> of course they don't. They do. Why did why Harry, is, okay, then why did, Simon, get okay, up with the times. Then why did Harry Maguire choose Man United over Man City? Because he thought it was the right move for him. I, I don't know how to argue that, Trev, because he chose Manchester United over Man City, and, and what, which the player thought was the right move. Feels. So then we're talking about ask players. Him what he feels now. So but then we choose players. Well, that's irrelevant. Well, of you're, talking, it's not. you're talking he about made the wrong players. Choice. Choose, well, that's your view, but you are, I, I gave you an example, and your example was the player chose because he thought it was best okay, move for him. Okay, so you think so that's what good, players uh, think? Uh, you would, if you were, you were a footballer, you'd go to Manchester United now. Not in his current incarnation. Absolutely. No. Well, but there if, you go. There's if, your answer. But if I was Harry Maguire and I was framing well, it, that was as a few years Manchester ago. City. Okay, let me go. Answer, I'll ago. answer it again. If the, if, the, if the framework was, do I get to choose between Man City and Real Madrid? It's a different question, well, isn't maybe, it? Maybe. If I get to choose between Man City and PSG, it's another different question. Manchester City. But when you're framing Man City against Real Madrid. It is Real Madrid. That's your opinion, Simon. A lot of I opinions. think things have moved. I don't think Real Madrid is the club that it used to be. And I, oh, think, I agree with that. I think the northwest of England, in Liverpool but, and Manchester City, but point, every the key top point player is, wants to it, go the there. The key point here is still Real Madrid. The 12 points clear in La Liga. They're in the, the Champions League semi-finals, and it's Real Madrid. Okay. No, no. How do you, you get around that? <laughs> uh, Trevor, I'll be brutal with you as we head to Rory, who's an Arsenal fan. Had you the chance... And we, we heard there was talk of Barcelona for you. But be honest with us here. Be honest <laughs> with us here. <laughs> Had you the opportunity at the particular stage in your career that you went to Manchester City and your agent phoned you and, and said, said that, Trevor, you're not going to believe this, but you might. Real Madrid are in for you. What would you have done? Can I just frame that question differently? Real Madrid or Barcelona? I would have went to Barcelona. No, I'm talking about you're about to go to City... Trevor, to play for the hold great your horses. Real Kevin Madrid Keegan. are in for you. What would you have done? Um, Trevor, come on. I would have gone back to the Northwest. Oh, leave What? Oh, Trevor. Baron Munchausen over there. Come on now. Rory, good morning. You're a big Arsenal fan. Where do you stand in all of this, mate? Good morning, guys. Great show as always. <laughs> Thanks, um, Rory. I, I rarely, rarely agree with Trevor, but I'm going to have to on this occasion. Oh, um, there you go. There you go, if, boy. Oh, dear, Rory. If you take a look at the Real Madrid squad right now, I don't understand quite how you can say they've got more of a law to top players. They're three world-class players, uh, Benzema, Modric and Kroos, all over 30 and all signed when Real Madrid did have that allure. And other than that, other than Vin Vinicius Jr., I don't see any one of those players getting into Manchester City or Liverpool squads in, have any chance at all of getting into those squads. So I don't see how you can say that these top players are siding for Real Madrid. But Rory, do you think Real Madrid have a chance of winning the, the Champions League? Um, I, Real Madrid ha always will put on a good show in Europe, but compared to City and Liverpool, no. We, we, we all know... But, but Rory, I think Real Madrid synonymous with the Champions League, and who's to say who will be in the lineup next season? But, but yeah, the, and but, Real Madrid was synonymous with the Champions League at times where... But they're also a phenomenon in their own league, Rory. Well, they're 12 points well, clear. They're 12, that's okay, so yeah, they're 12 in, points in clear in La Liga in, in a beautiful country with a beautiful climate with an iconic football club with a stadium that's filled with 94,000 flat well, it's fans. Not, it's, it's half empty. Yeah, and, 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 that, and that all being, but at the same time, the Premier League is known as the best league in the world now to all players. It's also... As no, the best said, financial before, league. The best, no, the best league. That's and, why and they the keep on winning so many if teams. You watch in the, that Manchester Liverpool game. League. If you watch that Man City Liverpool game on the weekend and tell me you can see that quality in any other league and any of the top five European. Rory, leagues. fair enough. You made some good points, mate. I have to say, uh, I'm looking at. There's a mixture of messages coming in, but the messages are flying in here this morning. Trevor, I'm afraid here's one no name in it. Trevor's talking nonsense. The only reason players go to Man City over Madrid would be the big pay packet that they can get. Remember, Manchester City can't even fill the stadium. I mean, oh, Steve, yeah. you're a Manchester City so fan. That, that must hurt, mustn't it? No, it doesn't hurt at all because it's just people that just don't like Man City because they've got money. 
and that's exactly what it is. And they just want what we've got. That's exactly what it is. So, it's tr- with it for years. so where do you stand? Be honest with us this morning, Steve. I mean, if a player, if a top player gets a chance to go to City or Madrid, Real Madrid, does the lure of Real Madrid not eclipse the money of City? I don't think it does anymore. Years ago, maybe, but not anymore. No, you've got to go to Man City for the manager, for the exciting football they play, for the infrastructure that's around it. Why would you want to go to Real Madrid over somebody like Man City? You'd only want to go to Spain because of the weather and because it's Spain. That's in my opinion. And it's an anyway. easier league. And it's an easier league, yeah. So you're with Trevor in this, that uh, no matter what, it's not just the money, it's not just the money, City has its allure of its own. I think so now, yeah. And they're all going to get better as well. Fair enough. What what they're actually doing, it's a long-term plan of like um, investing in other football clubs, buying them and all the young talent coming through so that when Pep Guardiola does eventually, his legacy will be... Teams that can go on for years to come. Steve, that's, just that's just what... just a quick one, Steve. We've had this debate in the studio before. Do you think the manager coming in will play exactly the same football that Pep Guardiola's got Manchester City playing at the moment? Because me and Simon had a discussion, and he said the manager comes in will have his own style of football. Yeah, but I think City will go after somebody like United. Just gone for now that Eric Ten Hag. That's the similar. He's played with. He's managed with Guardiola. Yeah, that type of manager will come into the Premiership for Man City. They won't just go out and get somebody. Okay, you know, that... Steve, I tell you what. Do me a favour. Stay on the line, will you? Because Carl's another Manchester City fan who wants to come on. I, I'm not sure, but I think he's got a different view. Carl, good morning. Morning, Jim. How are you? Good, thank you, mate. So, what's your take on all of this? The lure of Real Madrid against the money of City. Where do you stand in it? Well, quickly before I start, I just want to say I love you three guys. The show is amazing. I listen every day. Oh, cow. Well, you're part of it now, mate. Thank you so much for saying <laughs> oh, that. Thank you. Uh, so what do you want to say, mate? Basically, I kind of agree with um, with both sides. I listen to my friends who are like Liverpool, Arsenal, Man United fans. We City haven't done it on the top flight yet of the European stage. And until we do that, we're not being established as a big club from other sides. Yeah. Now... When we win that, we should have won that Champions League last season, but we didn't. We played 60-plus games in all competitions, and every game that we played, we had a holding midfielder. Then we went in against a, a counter-attacking team in Chelsea who've been to the top before and won the competition, and we just we couldn't, we couldn't make end of it. Now, the day, that we, the day that comes when we win that league, then we will be established as a main club. I love my club. I would die for it. Now, Real Madrid... They are one of the top dogs of Europe. They've, they've won it 13 times. It, it doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what players have had over the years. They are one of the top dogs of Europe. I think it depends on the player, depending on whether they're going to go there or they're going to go to City or what have you. But I think City are only going to get bigger and better. And as regards to what Steve said before me, um, I think that in regards to that, a lot of people do look at City. We didn't ask to be invested in. Somebody chose to buy our club and we're just... A fair point. Very grateful. That's yeah. a fair point. Steve, isn't that that's a fair point? We would concede that. Sa- Simon, you would concede that to Steve. Of Nobody asked for, for um There's the, nothing the with... massive money from Abu Dhabi the to go the, into the City. The trouble with Man City fans is unless you say everything that they agree with, then they start to turn around and say you're disrespecting their club. Brilliant football team, fabulous team Just to watch, brilliant players, the but they spent a lot of money on it, and all of a sudden they get upset and start Steve, crying you, because Steve, you make an observation. What do you want to say to Simon on that? You're crying? Just, uh, Simon Jordan always disrespects Man City all the time. I've been to <laughs> what a load of old tosh. And I'll guess you do. And what do I do? Okay, give me an example of disrespecting you. You cheat, well, like, which like you did in 2011 and got sanctioned. Hang on, like, give me an slander. example. Hang on, you've asked Steve for an example. Uh, Steve, give me an example of Simon disrespecting your football club. Well, like you say, Jim, you can't get a word in with the man, can you, because he thinks he's God. Well, go on then. <laughs> well, you just, you, you just do. You disrespect Man City. Well, oh, well give me an example, you Steve. You disrespect that club. Well, give me an example. You hundreds of examples. You're just a nasty, bitter man when it comes to well, Man give City. Me an, okay, Steve, give me an example of how I've disrespected your club, because I'm well, happy to be told. What have you said this morning? What have you I said? Don't like this, you don't like that because it's Man City. That's no, I didn't. Do no, I didn't say anything Man about City. disliking Man City. Okay, I said the they're a brilliant football team. Ask the man sat next to you, you know, what you say about Man City. No, but I'm asking you, time. Steve, because you're the one that's well, I'm, saying I'm that I'm bitter, you. nasty little man I'm and, I'm make, and I'm making observations well, about you your club you are, and what you're doing... You are, and you do it, all the time. Well, give me you an example, to, Steve. You if you're going, if you're going to criticise somebody... Listen to me a minute. You never. No one can ever get a word in with you. go on, then. You, you disrespect Man City all the time. If well, give me an example then. Players, it's money, they've all got money, and you don't like it because Why? you are nothing to me. You're just somebody that sits in the studio slagging off Man City. I, 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 think, I think what you need to do, that. Steve, is you need to get past your victims and inferiority complex and listen to you're what people victim. say. You're a you're brilliant victim. football club with a brilliant team. 
and you've bought yeah. and paid for it. Where's and the disrespect like in that? You don't like it. You, like that. I couldn't care the less. That was on. The last guy that was on turned on and said, we never asked to be invested And because we are, people like you don't like it. I couldn't care less. It's a statement of fact. You, well, you must. You obviously do care less because that's why well, you're every, every, let's, let's, let's get the facts right. Everyone's invested a lot of money in their team. Granted. In the Premier League. But I, I think what's happened is the status quo has been put out of shape and people don't no, like no, it. No, and no. That's what, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit more than that. If you look at the ecosystem of football and you look at the challenges that football have... And someone, reasons, someone has always got, always got more the, money than the rest. And the reasons why the, Euro- the, moment and the, reasons why the European Super League Simple really came that. about was because of the Middle Eastern threat of money. Mm. You look at what Man City have done. But they've when, already been sent... they've been sent won the league, they had more money than everyone. When Manchester United won the league, they had more money than everyone. They are statements of fact, Trev. Of course they are. They were sanctioned for breaching financial fair play in 2011 and 2012. No, they didn't, Trev. They got a £50 million fine. Jim White. And Simon Jordan, Monday to Thursday morning, 10 till 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.